From the Weather NorCal Command Center, this is your morning update. Cascade Paint and Supply is Reading's oldest family-owned paint store established in 1953. We are the largest Dunn Edwards dealer in the nation and most of our products are made in the U.S. Our friendly and knowledgeable staff are ready to answer your questions and help you today. Well, here at Weather NorCal, we also have some great specialized programming. Of course, the main focus is weather, and it always will be. We can have some fun along the way, and one of the things that I've really enjoyed over the years is really just hanging out with Sharon Clay at Turtle Bay and just talking about the animals. we got this great segment called Wonderful World of Animals, and the beauty of it is you can watch all of the episodes that are available on weathernorcal.com. You can also go to the free Weather NorCal app, tap on Animal Family. And of course, there's also an Animal Family segment uh, on the website. Click on that and of course, then click on Turtle Bay Wonderful World of Animals. And before you know it, you've got the whole library in front of you. It's really interesting and fun to watch all of the different animals at Turtle Bay. Uh, let's get to that heat wave. And yes, the heat wave peaks today and tomorrow. The fire danger will be increasing, unfortunately, today and tomorrow with isolated showers, maybe some thunderstorms in some of the mountains. We'll take a closer look at future casts in just a sec. And it looks like a slight temperature drop going into the weekend. But don't let that fool you because we're going to see another increase after that. There's your neighborhood forecast at a glance. And oh man, I mean, yes, the coast, that's where you want to go, right? Low 60s there, 80s, 90s in the higher elevations, triple digits, obviously, in the valley, and even some triple digit heat for parts of Trinity County as well. Here's what it looks like out there today. And again, right around 105 to 106 in the valley, 80s and 90s for the higher elevations, a chance for some afternoon showers showers, thunderstorms in the eastern mountains, not to mention clipping extreme southeastern Modoc County. And of course, the cool spot will be in the low to mid 60s for the coast. All right, that's your quick forecast getting you out the door. You can also take a look at your quick uh, seven day outlook region by region. That heat wave does drop a little bit and then we go back up for Monday, Tuesday for the valley. Okay, now we take a look at the coast. Temperatures mid 60s, maybe a little bit warmer in the upper 60s by Tuesday. Uh, but there you can see even Weaverville could get up to 100 degrees or higher, maybe peaking, peaking even on Thursday. And I've got that chance. There's just going to be the afternoon activity that we're going to see here over the next several days for the Eastern Mountains and in Monoc County. So bottom line, there is a slight chance for some activity here, but for the most part, it's not going to be all that wet in most of those locations. Okay, now. We're going to get you to the more extended outlook here, more details to the forecast. For those of you that got what you need out the day for the day, have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. Let's get in more detailed forecast and talk about those winds. They'll be fairly strong for the valley, especially for the central and west side of the valley, but they should subside a little bit. Now that's going to have an impact on our fire danger, which we'll see here in a second. But as we go into Thursday morning, the winds actually subside a bit. Thursday afternoon, not that bad either, but once again, we've got heat and we've got low humidity, and that's gonna give us that higher fire danger over the next few days. Once again, as we go into Friday morning, Friday afternoon, the wind's not that bad, really. All right, so here is a look at the humidity. We're seeing a little bit of recovery in the overnight hours, but look at this. By the time we get into this afternoon, we're in the single digits for many of us in the valley with those relative humidity levels. And unfortunately, it looks like that's going to be the case again on Thursday as well. So what does that mean for our fire weather risk? Well, of course, as you, as you saw, I was talking about the winds are strongest around midday today. That's when I expect the highest fire risk because as we go into the afternoon, those winds subside a little bit, but still a little gusty in some areas. So still some high fire danger in spots. But overall, uh, it looks like for the valley, we're seeing decreasing fire danger later this afternoon, but still high nonetheless. Then we go into Thursday. Look at this. We're getting into some reds really deep oranges getting close to some of those reds. So now we're getting in the high to even very high fire weather risk for your Thursday. And really the reason that's happening is we're setting the stage with those dry conditions, right? Because the heat also helps to really suck out all that moisture, uh, and not only in the air, but also in the fuels that we have out there as well, or the vegetation. So what we're seeing here is this ridge of high pressure that's in place, it's giving us the sunny skies and the heat. Now the center of the high pressure is off to our east, that's where the hottest temperatures are, but that doesn't mean it's not hot for us because we're experiencing that, but we're kind of on the outer fringes of that. So it peaks on really tomorrow, today and tomorrow, Friday in some cases, but you see how we have this cooler air riding to our north over the weekend. This is that 
cooling trend, if you will, that we have over the weekend, but still hot nonetheless, because that cold air is really far to our north, but it is suppressing that heat a little bit. Now, what's interesting about our weather pattern going into next week is, we've got a ridge of high pressure coming in from the west. That's trying to build in and saying, hey, uh-uh, you got more on the way, but this guy up here, this big storm system, colder air, is fairly strong and it's gonna ride to the north. See how it's kind of riding to the north a little bit here. So it's flattening out that ridge and actually taking that hot, heat, hot air that is and pushing it down to the south and west. However, the ridge of high pressure that's impacting us now, that's gonna to try to make an appearance by the middle of next week. So we've kind of got this broad ridge of high pressure kind of right here, right? And that is being suppressed by this broad trough of low pressure, cooler air, hotter air, they're both kind of battling it out. And for the most part, they're helping to even things out a bit. So still hot, right? But just not as hot as it could be. Let's just, let's be grateful for that at least, right? Now the Climate Prediction Center still has us in that above normal category, but we're starting to get in those lighter shades of orange. Now that's important to take note because what that's telling us is the heat wave we're experiencing now may not be so bad by the time we do get into the next uh, seven to 10 days. We still have that excessive heat warning for all of the areas in pink here. That's through Thursday evening. So uh, of course, just be ready for this heat. Uh, but once the heat, it, it, once that heat warning expires, it doesn't mean it's not gonna be hot. So we look at the uh, heat risk for today, all the areas in red indicating a major heat risk. That affects anyone includes healthy people. It affects anyone without proper cooling and or hydration. So it's important to stay hydrated no matter how healthy you are during these heat waves. As we go into Thursday, we're still looking at a lot of red on that map. So we're still within that major heat risk. Now, as mentioned, we are going to allow that excessive heat warning to expire on Friday, but we're still within that moderate range. So you can see how temperatures are starting to drop and even more so on Saturday. See how we're seeing a lot more yellows on the map, even for the higher elevations uh, for Saturday. As we go into Sunday, we're beginning to see the orange begin to kind of overtake the map a little bit more. And then on Monday of next week, look at that, we're getting back into the major category. So again, temperatures dropping into the weekend, going back up for next week. So not only now, but even through the weekend into next week, if you work outside, Here's the best thing that you can do. Drink a cup of cool water every 20 minutes. It may be hard to do that and break away from work, but it's very important that you stay hydrated. Take regular breaks to rest. And if you can, in the shade, even better in an air-conditioned spot. Maybe just get in your car for a little bit here. Turn on the car and get that AC going a little bit. And seek periodic breaks in AC. Again, that's what I was talking about here. But uh, if you can't have the AC, then shade is also a good alternative while you're drinking that cool cup of water. All right, there you can see the chances for showers, maybe some thunderstorms in the eastern mountains this afternoon that may clip this evening, southeastern Modoc County. Otherwise, the rest of us are dry. Looks like we're seeing that fog trying to make its way back to parts of the coast, especially around Eureka. We're seeing a repeat again going into Thursday. Chance for showers, thunderstorms, maybe a better chance coming into Modoc County for Thursday afternoon, but by Thursday night, it's pretty much gone. And then it looks like we're still seeing some of those low clouds trying to make the way along the coast. Those wave heights have been fairly high. And we take you into your Thursday. It looks like those wave heights are retreating a little bit here, but still fairly high nonetheless. So as a result, there actually is a hazardous seas warning for today through Thursday afternoon. The winds are from the north at about 10 to 15 knots. Here's your Trinity County neighborhood forecast. Yeah, some of us could touch that 100 degree mark, basically upper 90s to uh, uh, lower, uh, upper 90s to about 100 degrees here. That temperature might be a little low for Lewis and I think you might be a bit higher than that, at least in the lower 90s for those daytime highs. Let's take you out to the North Coast. Uh, there you can see Garberville about 89, 90 degrees for Alder Point, 74 in Shelter Cove, 70 out in Blue Lake. We take you up north with 73 degrees for Smith River, 89 for Gas Key. 
Temperature is mainly in the low 90s for most of us in the inland areas today. Your Siskiyou County neighborhood forecast, temperature is also in the upper 80s to low 90s. There's the peak, uh, should be around Thursday and Friday, and then temperatures drop for the weekend a bit, going back up at least into the low 90s and of early next week. All right, let's take a look at your Modoc County neighborhood forecast. I think some of us could quite possibly touch that 90 degree mark. Again, just that, that afternoon convective activity. If we don't see showers, you'll at least see the afternoon afternoon cumulus clouds developing in the afternoon over the next several days, including today. You're taking to the eastern mountains, same situation here. We could be looking at a chance for those afternoon showers and thunderstorms, otherwise just those afternoon cumulus clouds developing. And that's basically for Modoc County, Eastern Mountains, Southern Cascades, Northern Sierra in general. But there you can see temperatures warming back up as we go into Monday and Tuesday of next week. Your Valley Neighborhood Forecast brought to you by NorCal Tractor. Well, there it is. Basically between 102 and 106 degrees for today. Today, tomorrow is the peak. Temperatures drop slightly. We're still just kind of hovering around 95 to 100 degrees here over the weekend before we see that increase in those temperatures going into next week. For Redding, you're, you're only down to 98 on Saturday, back up to 100 on Sunday, 104 to 105 by next Monday and Tuesday. Let nothing stand between you and the tree stand with this great offer on the fast, durable Kubota Sidekick. Featuring a gas-powered engine that delivers a top speed of 40 miles per hour, outstanding acceleration and handling with cargo, and a two-year, 1,000-hour warranty. Get the Sidekick now for zero down, 0% zero APR for 36 months or save $1,000. Tractors, trailers, rentals. You do it all, we do it local.